What's up, Wayne Baron here with DrFX.net. Well, I just got finished reinstalling my Windows 7 computer and get ISS configured. And uh, one of my clients has asked me to add something into their site. Well, in order to add it in, I've got to run the site locally so that I can add it in and then upload it to the live server. Now, whenever I first ran the site, I came into this problem right here, which is uh, provider cannot be found. It may not be properly installed. But what it is is that uh, Windows 7, uh, well actually I think it started with Windows Vista all the way up. You have to install the, um, let's bring it up, you have to install the Access Database Engine. However, whenever I installed the Access Database Engine for 64-bit, it did not fix the problem. And so the way that I found to fix the problem is uh, using a uh, passive mode and what the passive mode would do is that the passive mode will allow you to install the 32-bit see if you launch the 32-bit in a 64-bit model then you're going to get this error right here it's not going to install so you got to do passive mode so what passive mode is is that you come over here to uh, start menu cmd I'm not really sure if it'll run without administrator privileges, but we're gonna run it with administrator privileges just to make sure that it actually runs properly. So what we wanna do is that we wanna to navigate to this area and then we wanna grab a hold of this file right here. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go D colon to get into our D drive, and then we're gonna CD into office, and then we're gonna CD into drivers. And now we're gonna grab a hold of this, access database engine, then we're going to do a forward slash and then we're going to do passive and this right here is going to uh, override the error that we received for trying to run 32-bit inside 64-bit and there we go okay so now it is installed and whenever we come over here and we right click now we're going to get a hold of another error instead of that error all right Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net inside of Windows 7 IIS and running access database inside of your websites. All right, y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.